Question 11, the last question. We are surrounded by many different forms of energy. Which of these statements most closely reflects your current attitude towards the possibility of using such energy to boost your golfing and other personal goals? Well, this is a question that will, again, will probably surprise a lot of people just like some of the others have done. So, and again, it's going to be very difficult for me to explain this in just a short period of time, but, but I'll try and give you an overview of, um, of where my thinking has led me so far. The truth is, is that we're surrounded by energy. Uh, we can't see almost all of it because there are radio waves, there are ionizing radiation, the sound, and all the rest of it. Um, I was doing a seminar with a head professional and uh, sticking posters up on the walls before we started and one of them uh, was of the electromagnetic spectrum and uh, the professional Mark, he was laughing and I said, what are you laughing about? He said, I'm looking forward to you trying to explain this. And I said, well, yeah, to be honest, I'm a bit worried about it too, but I can't think of a better way of, of making my point. And, and my point is this, that we're surrounded by all this energy, which we don't see, but we know that it's there. The only bit that we do see, literally, is what they call the visible spectrum of light. So just imagine, if you can, that uh, some people can see more of this range than others. Perhaps a musician can hear notes that most other people can't see. Perhaps an artist can see tones and colours in greater detail and over a greater wavelength than we can. I don't think that's too fanciful. In fact, when we look around in the, in the natural world and we see the miracles of nature all, over, all around us, uh, most of that we can't explain, but we know that it's true and real because we see it with our own eyes. But it's much harder to have that level of confidence or acceptance of things that we can't see. But um, again, like some of the other things that I've talked about, I do believe that energy is really important. I think that people can learn to tune into this energy, to feel it more directly, and once they've done that, they can learn how to use it in a positive way in their own lives. And, and some of that probably falls into the law of attraction stuff as well. You know, ask, believe and receive. Uh, we'll never know probably how this, how this works. Um, I can't see that it's ever done anybody any harm. Uh, I try and use it all the time. It's something we talk about in our seminars. I demonstrate energy work to clients. I get them to feel the energy that's around them. And uh, once they can do that, that tends to be the kickstart uh, as they start to develop their own sensations and knowledge of, of how to use energy. Just feeling better about themselves. And there's you know, wonderful books by um, um, you know, Quantum Healing by Deepak Chopra and uh, Dr. Eric Pearl, um, again, who's mentioned in The Living Matrix. There's loads of stuff out there. People are increasingly interested in the side of things uh, in, in, in life. Well, I think just in our small world of golf, there are things here that we can learn as well. That's about as far as I can take it in a little video clip, but it's a really interesting subject and one that I as I say, is a big part of our seminars and clients find it helpful. Um, I offer it to people and I've not had anybody turn it down yet. Uh, all it, as, as with many of these things, all it takes is an open mind, wait and see, keep an open mind and see what happens. You may be very surprised by the results that you get.